Submerged Castle. I just realized, if there's another Boldman, I'm screwed. Because I don't have a Bitter Spray. Oh boy. Ha-cha-cha. Is that a... I can make White Pikmin. Oh, yes. Well, I'm going to definitely sacrifice the Bulborbs to get White Pikmin. Not now, but at the end of the sub level. Oh, hi, it's a Wallywog. That was weird. He, he can jump sideways, apparently. Sure enough, there's another Boltman. Okay, well, let's get rid... I have no idea how I'm going to deal with the Boltman. I can't even take it by surprise, because it just always knows where you are, and it's constantly moving towards you. Oh, here he's coming. Look, I, I don't even think a spicy spray will be enough. I think he'll eat my guys before I get a chance. I'm gonna try, but I don't think this will work. Okay, it actually did work. See you later. <laughs> How did he not die? I did not see that electric fence there. How in the cuss did that Pikmin not die? I'll take it. I'll take it. Because my Pikmin have died unjustly before <laughs> in this dungeon. So hey, hey, I'll take the freebie. But wow, my blue Pikmin absolutely 100% should have died there. He, he literally started attacking an electric fence while it was going. Oh, Lottie coming! <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll take it. I've had bad luck, and I've had good luck. It's kind of balanced itself out. Alright, you guys take that back. Alright. Where else is there to go? We gotta go this way. Okay. Gotta be very careful to only throw bulb men into the electric fence. This is also why you don't want to take 100 blue Pikmin in here. Oh, hi, Anode Beetles. If you take 100 blue Pikmin in here, there are no Boldmen for you to uh, put under your control because there can only be 100 Pikmin on field. You'll still have to deal with the Boldmen parents, but they just won't have any kids with them that you can recruit. Is that a volatile dweeble over there? No. It, oh, it's an anno dweeble. That's... Uh, you know what, anno dweeble? Can you please pick up one of those corpses? Please and thank you, God bless. Oh no, not the withering blow hog. Anno Dweevil's not going to directly attack me unless I directly attack it, so... I am aware that there's an electric fence on the other side. And of course, the freaking Wyvering Bullhog knocked them into the electric fence. That was, that was dumb of me. Uh, yes, at least the file didn't get cor corrupted. Okay, that that was on me. That was 100% my fault. I should not have swarmed the Wyvering Bullhog so close to the electric fence of Anode Beetles. So this is the electricity floor. Well, at least now I know I can... At least it is possible to kill the Bulbman parents without a bitter spray. You need a spicy spray if you don't want to die. And you need they need to trip, but it is possible. All that for an egg, I don't know about that. 
I'll use the white... Uh, do I even... I actually don't think I want to use the white flower here. Because there's so much water in this dungeon that I think white Pikmin are they're just going to be a liability, and I don't see any point in having any more white Pikmin at this point. Like, I don't think I'll be taking any more than 20 in a given dungeon, and I already have 20, so... I gotta throw my Pikmin slowly, otherwise it'll be like, Oh, did you want to throw a blue Pikmin? It's like, no. Well, too bad. Zap it. Oh, great. Sure. Bulbmen, Anode Beetles, and Anode Dweevils. Why not? Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Hmm. Hi, Wally Wog. Don't die. The AI in this game can be a little off at times. No. Doggone it! I s I swear, sometimes I swear there is random luck in this game. Sometimes, where it's like sometimes the frogs crush your Pikmin, sometimes they don't. Sometimes the Pikmin will latch on top of the frog, and sometimes they get knocked right below him when he rises up in the air and he crushes them. It's like make it consistent. The least you could do is make it consistent. Because at this point, it could be like, oh, well, the, to, to kill the guy without dying, it's possible, but you need to rely on a 50% chance. It's like, please no. Please don't do that. Oh! You would, game. You would. I swear there are some enemies that you you cannot kill reliably unless you have a bitter spray without losing a Pikmin. Pikmin walk randomizer. I mean, the Pikmin 2 is the Pikmin randomizer. Because these sub-levels, in case you didn't notice, they look a little bit different every time I reload. I haven't played Hollow Knight. It's on my list. I'll most likely stream Hollow Knight this year. Because it's been on my list to play for a long time. <laughs> oh, sh yeah, fun. Cool, cool. Get the Boltman out of the way early. I like that. Maybe you can kill him reliably, but you just need, like, pixel perfect aim. Where's the Wally Wog? There's the an okay, I don't care about Anno Dweevil. Anno Dweevil minds his business, I mind mine. I mean Anno Dweevil's probably gonna try to take the the cookie from me. But I can I can deal with that because we can just knock it off of him. There you go. Swarm the cookie. Don't swarm the Anode Dweevil. He can kill you. Most Dweevils cannot kill you. He can. Oh yes, yes, bring that all the way back. Alright, there's that, <laughs> there's that checkerboard cookie again. It's a different one this time, though. Oh, we repaid the debt! The succulent mattress. That, we have repaid the debt, so we will get the normal ending of the game after we leave Submerged Castle. Wyvering Bullhogs are kind of the ultimate annoyance enemy. Like, they can't kill you unless they blow you off a cliff, but doggone it are they annoying. 
Okay, Wally Wog is over there. I don't like how Wally Wog is so close to Wivering Bullhog and Electric Fences. At all. Oh boy. Especially since Wivering Bullhog can apparently blow wind through walls. That's not how wind works. <laughs> Alright. We can lure the Wally Wog away. There we go. I'm gonna... Oh, I, no, that's the thing. I can't be patient. Because we got the thing that can potentially come. Are you... You did that on purpose, you little twerp! I saw you blatantly ignore my whistle and run under him so you would die. You little talk. He ran blatantly in the opposite direction of my whistle just to get crushed by that. See what I, see what I mean when I say the AI of this game just is lacking a little bit. It's not a, it's not that bad if you're just doing it casually, but you really notice it if you're doing it like I am. Oh hi. Yeah, I watched Saturday morning cartoons as a kid. Especially on PBS. But also things like Looney Tunes. Classics. Okay, I'm gonna deal with Wallywog and Boldman as soon as possible. I think this was the, uh, f first randomly generated sub level that I got, maybe? No, it's slightly different. But I got the two most annoying enemies out of the way first, so that's good. Still gotta watch out for all the electric enemies. That guy is also annoying. Why has he not fallen? Wow! He should have fallen to the ground a lot sooner than that. Grab that tennis ball lid. Get it out of here. Get that... <laughs> Get that cookie out of here. Oh, hi! Yeah, spawn a withering bullhog out of nowhere. That's that's fine. <laughs> cookie's done yet! Oh, cookie's not done yet. Activity arouser. Wilson! Is that a bitter spray? I think that's a bitter spray. Oh wait, no, take- okay, yeah, take those back, that's fine. In this lighting, I can't tell if that's a bitter spray or if it's a spicy spray. It's bitter spray! Oh, thank god! <laughs> Praise Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, Wilson. Oh... It's, it, it's the compelling cookie. <laughs> Looks like a drill bit. There's still another treasure on the floor somewhere. 
Oh, there's actually a good amount of the floor we haven't... This floor is so big! Okay. This might be the floor we face the bad Fane. For the first time. Okay, no, no, no. That's just the, the ivory candy, but we can ignore that. Okay. Oh, that's right. We still have the uh, checkerboard cookie. <sighs> really? It's not making it difficult. It's just making it annoying. Get off him. Get off him. Get off him. Don't go left. off of him. Swarm the cookie. Take it away from the electricity. Get away from the electric attacks, you stupid Pikmin! You're not going to be suicidal today. Good freaking lord. Stop going for the electric- Wow! They are literally just blatantly trying to kill themselves. Like, I know Pikmin are stupid, but good lord! That is taking it to a completely different level. Okay, where is the exit? Okay, it's down this way. That should be the last treasure. <sighs> Don't give me a heart attack in here. Alright, here we go. The beautiful cookie. The succulent mattress. It's beautiful. Oh no, we gotta break... Okay, Louie. At least we can get everybody over here. Oh, here we go. That's why you gotta be fast. What is this? I can see it with my optical receptors, but my sensors cannot detect it. Could its physical form be anchored in another dimension? Attacking it is futile. If only we could force it to take on physical form, but in its current state... Danger! 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 So... This is why the dungeon became famous! This is the... Ma so that's the master of the submerged castle. This is the Water Wraith, and it is completely invincible, will hunt you down, it's on these, like, lawnmower treads, and it basically, it's incredibly intelligent, it has really advanced AI, unlike your Pikmin, and it will basically, like, target you to try to trap you and just crush you and destroy your Pikmin. Thankfully, it appeared far away, but it's probably on its way right now. Alright, get the heck out of here, get the heck out of here. If, if if the Water Wraith appears, and you haven't gotten all the treasure, good luck. <laughs> you basically need one captain to, uh, to stall it, and then your other captain to actually slowly get the stuff back. Sub-level 4 of the Submerged Castle. I believe this is the bomb floor. With a lot of volatile dweebles. So, slash the poison floor. Floor 1 was the fire floor. Last floor is the electric floor. Why do Pikmin like to kill themselves? It's because the game kind of programmed bad Pikmin AI. They are sentient vegetables, so maybe that's part of the, like, Haha, <laughs> vegetables get it. They can't think for themselves. You can- Oh! Iridescent Glint Beetle! This thing drops treasure if you hit it. Another Boldman? Really? I don't want more Boldman. Yeah, because I have 97 Pikmin, that guy's only going to have free Boldman with him. Okay, well, let's... Okay. Let's get the Boldman killed as soon as possible. Ooh! White Chocolate Truffle, 25. The Pale Passion.
Oh no, that guy actually didn't have any Boltman with him. Okay, that's a Volatile Weevil. Yep, expect a lot of them on this floor. Oh my... Another Boltman. Maybe this is the one that has free. Are you kidding me? Get out of here with the careening Dirigi bug! I told you this was the bomb floor! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the floor that will introduce you to what Pikmin 2's difficulty truly is. I promise you, this floor is just a taste of what is to come. Like, I'm serious, if you think this floor is bad, no, you've seen nothing yet. Just you wait. So this... Does this guy have a treasure, or is he just here to be annoying? I mean, he's definitely here to be annoying, but... Are you kidding me? You can't do that. <laughs> Apparently he can. We gotta, we gotta get the treasure before the water wraith arrives, so... Hi, volatile dweevil. Hi, bombs. You know, I'm kind of surprised I haven't... And none of my Pikmin have been blown up at the... I'm truly surprised about that. Okay, I have to get this stupid guy out of here. There are two ways about that. I just need him to die. Oh, there's a there's another one. Don't touch the bomb rock. Oh, I didn't answer. I'm sorry, there's been a lot that's been happening. I also can't answer that. Because there's so many R for episodes. It's really hard for me to... Okay, I'll say this. Favorite R for episode... I'm not sure if that's actually my favorite, but it's the one off the top of my head that I really enjoy. DW Gets Lost. That episode is freaking amazing. It's the polar opposite of R for Gets Lost. R for Gets Lost is like the most... emotional and like sad episode in the series, DW Gets Lost is like the most hilarious episode in the series. <laughs> As for least favorite, I'll go with that episode where they basically turn Arthur into a bully for no reason. Drone Supplies. Also, Arthur's Big Hit is a terrible episode as well. Devil Ham. Hey, sorry, I might not be able to read Twitch chat very well in this, on this sub-level. I mean, I'm... Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, the game really loves just dropping explosives on you out of nowhere. Alright. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it! Head back. That pigman took. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Um, where's the exit? Okay. He's on me! Dura smell! Get, get loaded in! Proton AA. Okay, okay, okay. Now get the heck away! No. No! Please don't blow up. 
They all blew up. <laughs> 